If you want to find popular trending topics to make YouTube videos about them, then you need to learn how to use Google Trends for YouTube. Using Google Trends can help your YouTube channel with identifying popular and trending topics, finding relevant keywords for your videos, and creating content that resonates with your audience. Google Trends is a free and easy tool to use, and now let's see how it works. So currently we are on the homepage of the Google Trends website. I've put down the link in the description below if you want to visit it. Here on the search field, you can start searching for your terms. If you scroll down the page, you can see additional information. But if you need more information about how Google Trends work, what is it, and uh, if you need the basics and understand how the data works, then you can find here some useful additional documentation if you need more information about Google Trends. But in this video, I will also give you some general information. So how does Google Trends work? Let's say that you type here a search term. It can be like anything, okay? Or you can also do the same on the Explore tab if you click here. So let's, for example, choose this term. When you make a search, it shows you the popularity of this search term over time. Currently, it is selected as the last 24 hours, but you can change and adjust a new time from here. So let's make it, for example, the last 90 days. Okay, if you change the time, as you can see, the search results also changed. And this graph here basically shows the interest over time for this search term, okay? And it is being created from zero to 100. And if you are asking what these numbers represent here, it basically means that a value of 100 is the maximum amount of a popularity. If you see like around 50, then it means this term is half popular and zero means it is not getting enough interest. You can also adjust the country. You can select any country from here or you can make it worldwide. Then you will get a different result. You can change the categories and you can also make it like a web search or a news search or even only for YouTube search. If you select, for example, YouTube search, then you will get again a different result. So basically from this field here, you can use these filters to refine your search results based on the location, time, category and type of search. Now let's start by using Google Trends for keyword research. To do this, you will want to think about the type of content you want to create and the keywords that are related to it. For example, if you have a tech channel and you want to create a video about, let's say, iPhone. Okay, so you can type here iPhone and you can select one of these from the list or you can basically type, let's say, iPhone 14. Okay, and if you click on search, then you will see here the interest for iPhone 14 over time for the last 90 days. Let's make it, for example, for the past 12 months. And as we can see, it gets like a lot of search interest at the beginning of September. Probably it was the time when it has first released and then it starts losing interest slowly. If you scroll down, you can also see here the countries that are like which countries are searching the search term more. And if you go a bit further down, then you can see here related topics and related search queries. There are basically two sorting options. First one is rising and the second one is top. If you select top, then you will get the top related search terms to your to your search query. So you can so you can start noting down here uh, different kinds of keywords. And if you choose rising, then you will see here the type of keywords that are getting more and more interest. And the breakout means here that a search term is getting more than 5,000% than it's written here as breakout. You can also compare different search terms. For example, if you want to make a video about mobile phones, but you are not sure whether you want to make a video about iPhone 14 or let's say another mobile phone company from let's say Samsung Galaxy. 
So you can compare here also two or more keywords and search terms. Let's make it, for example, the past 30 days. For the past 30 days, for YouTube, you can see that iPhone is getting a lot more search interest when we compare it to Samsung Galaxy. So by this way, you can find out that what your audience is searching for and you can make a video that attracts more interest of them and probably lead you to your channel and lead your videos to get potentially much more views. For example, if you make a video about iPhone 14, you will potentially get much more views than if you make a video about Samsung Galaxy. So using Google Trends can help you to create content that is more likely to get much more views and gives a good idea about what your audience is currently searching for. But still, there are other tools that gives us even more details than Google Trends do. For example, VidIQ or TubeBuddy are also two great tools that you can use to find video ideas and trending topics with much more details. If you want to learn more about them, then check out my next video.